It's truly fascinating to witness the rapid progress of SpaceX's Starship program. This advanced rocket is making leaps in just a few months apart. Remarkably, we've only just witnessed the second Starship launch a few days ago, and already, SpaceX is preparing for its third flight. Musk has even hinted at a potential launch date for this next monumental step. Before we delve further, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates. As we all remember, the initial Starship launch, despite being a major milestone, faced several technical challenges that provided critical insights for subsequent improvements. One of the primary issues was with the Raptor engines. These engines, essential for both the liftoff and landing of the spacecraft, did not perform as reliably as needed. Adjustments and upgrades to these engines became a primary focus following this flight. Another significant challenge during the first launch was managing aerodynamic stresses. The Starship encountered unexpected aerodynamic forces, highlighting the need for an improved aerodynamic design and better control mechanisms to handle these stresses more effectively. The thermal protection system of the spacecraft also came under scrutiny. The intense heat experienced during re-entry revealed weaknesses in the system. Despite these issues, the first flight was crucial in testing the basic launch and flight capabilities of the Starship, providing a wealth of data for SpaceX to analyze and learn from. The second Starship launch was built upon these lessons. A significant achievement in this launch was the successful in-flight stage separation. This process is vital for the Starship's intended missions, both orbital and interplanetary. Enhancements to the Raptor engines were also evident in the second launch, showcasing increased reliability and efficiency. These improvements are crucial for the Starship's future missions, particularly for the landing phase which requires precise engine performance. The second launch also demonstrated significant progress in the thermal protection system. The upgrades made after the first flight's experiences enabled the spacecraft to better manage the extreme temperatures of re-entry, an essential factor for the safety and integrity of the spacecraft. Additionally, the second launch showed improvements in the overall stability and control of the spacecraft during ascent. This progress was a result of refinements in the Starship's aerodynamic design and its control systems, ensuring better handling of the vehicle throughout its flight path. Each iteration incorporates learnings from its predecessors, with improvements in areas such as thrust vector control, heat shield design, and overall structural integrity. The upcoming Booster 10, for example, is expected to feature refinements based on the experiences and data gathered from the previous boosters. As SpaceX advances towards the third flight of its groundbreaking Starship, the company recently revealed an ambitious timeline for this next chapter. Musk has announced that the hardware for the third Starship launch could be ready in just a matter of weeks, yet it's important to approach these timelines with a level of caution, as Musk's predictions have often been optimistic. Given the complex nature of such a technologically advanced project, a more realistic expectation might be a launch in the first quarter of 2024. Looking back at the second Starship flight, particularly the incident of the booster explosion after stage separation, SpaceX is likely to direct its focus on several critical aspects to ensure a smoother and more successful third launch. After the explosive end to its second flight, a comprehensive review of the booster's design, fuel management, and safety mechanisms seems necessary. This includes enhancing the structural integrity and reviewing operational procedures to prevent similar incidents. The mechanics of stage separation, although successful in the previous flight, will also require close attention. Fine-tuning the mechanical and control systems involved in this process is crucial to ensure seamless and safe transitions in future missions. Another key aspect is the flight termination system. This system, vital for the safe disposal of the spacecraft in case of anomalies, must be rigorously tested and refined. Not only is it essential for the safety of the mission, but it also plays a crucial role in meeting regulatory standards. In-depth analysis of the data from the second flight will also be instrumental in identifying potential weaknesses and areas for improvement. This data-driven approach can guide targeted enhancements to the spacecraft's design and operation. Strengthening the ground support infrastructure and enhancing pre-launch check protocols are also likely to be areas of focus. 
ensuring that all systems undergo thorough testing and verification before the launch is key to mission success. Lastly, maintaining continuous engagement with regulatory bodies like the FAA will be essential. Not only does this ensure compliance with safety standards, but it also facilitates a smoother approval process for the launch. By addressing these aspects, SpaceX aims to not only overcome the challenges observed in the second Starship flight, but also to enhance the overall design and safety of the spacecraft. And most importantly, SpaceX must once again navigate the intricate process of securing approval from the Federal Aviation Administration for the third launch. This task may prove to be more challenging this time around, especially in light of the explosive outcome of the second launch. We all recall the stringent regulatory response from the FAA following the first Starship explosion back in April. Those events had set a precedent highlighting the FAA's rigorous approach to safety and compliance. This history suggests that SpaceX may face a heightened level of scrutiny as it seeks clearance for the upcoming launch. One key area of development is the Raptor 3 engines. These engines represent the next evolution in SpaceX's propulsion technology and are being designed with the lessons learned from both the previous Starship flights. The Raptor 3 engines are expected to offer improved performance, greater reliability, and better suitability for the demanding conditions of space travel. The development of these engines is critical, as they will be the powerhouse for future Starship missions, including those that will carry humans to the Moon and Mars. In addition to the engine improvements, SpaceX is likely also focusing on refining other aspects of the Starship and Super Heavy booster. This includes enhancements to the fuel systems, structural integrity, and thermal protection, all of which are crucial for the safety and success of future missions. NASA has started expressing concerns about the initial timeline of the Starship Lunar Lander, a key component of the Artemis program, due to several delays and technical hurdles witnessed in the Starship's development. The challenges and setbacks encountered by SpaceX in their recent launches have raised questions about their ability to meet the ambitious deadlines set for lunar missions. Starship represents SpaceX's vision for the future of deep space transportation, aiming to ferry both humans and cargo to destinations like the Moon, Mars, and potentially beyond. This system comprises two fully and rapidly reusable parts, the immense Super Heavy first stage and the 165-foot-tall upper stage spacecraft, aptly named Starship. Together, they form the largest and most powerful spacecraft ever constructed, towering nearly 400 feet when fully assembled. This launch is expected to build on the successes and lessons of the previous flights, moving closer to achieving reliable and sustainable space travel. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.